Hi, I'm Zim Zoe, and this video is going to explain why I just completely disappeared for three weeks. It's because over the last three weeks, I've been on ten different types of medication, which has been fun for me. And that includes three different types of painkillers, uh, ibuprofen, cocodamol, and paracetamol. Um, then there's my sleeping tablets, my two different types of inhaler, which I have to take every day, two different types of antibiotics to help fight off the infection that I had, then I had the eardrops on top of that, and then I've got the cold tablets because they upset my immune system and everything is like, ugh. Now I know that seems like a lot, but I'm just... I'll explain it from the beginning. Uh, about almost a month ago now, um, I went swimming with my friend Sarah, and if anybody who knows me swimming is basically I live at the bottom of the pool. I live for just diving under the water, holding my breath, and seeing how far I can get. Um, which sort of upset my ears, because my ears are very sus susceptible to infection, and of course that's what happened. I ended up getting a boil inside this ear, and it was in like so it caused me like so much pain and agony that I was like awake at nights like literally crying screaming unable to sleep so I was literally like a zombie as well and because I feel like awake from like 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. after trying to get to bed at like 10 so I was only getting what four hours sleep a night if that four hours sleep then awake before then Asleep before. Eight hours sleep isn't all that bad, but you know, it's, it's, I'm used to being like basically in a coma. Anyway, and so with all that, um, I was taking antibiotics for this year, which made me feel incredibly dizzy and like unable to like get up or go anywhere and like seriously drowsy as well. Like at the time, I was reading this, well, in nowhere. And I'd get to a certain chapter, and like as I was reading it, I was literally like, I was like, just just go to sleep. So I planned to go to sleep for like 20 minutes, and I woke up like two hours later. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, the antibiotics lowered my immune system, which allowed me to get an infection in this ear, which uh, I went to the doctor's for, and she was like, oh yeah, sure, whatever, take these eardrops. They've got like steroids in them or something like that to make me like, I don't know, make it better. So I was taking that for almost a week and finishing off the antibiotic course for this one when I got a phone call saying, oh, we put you on the wrong type of medicine. We're so sorry. Uh, don't use it anymore and go on to this one. And I'm just like, oh, okay. And so I've got about four days left of that one. But that one doesn't make me feel as bad uh, except the fact that I've got to avoid milk and yogurt because apparently it upsets everything. Um, but during the three weeks, I've like been unable to leave the house most of the time, and the days I have, I've uh, like for the first week I was like, oh, just like a zombie. So, but like I went to a party at a local pub for my friend Sarah's birthday, and like going there I was literally just like, like walking along, and my friend Vicky's like talking to me. She's really excited, and we haven't talked for a while. And I'm just like, yeah, you will excuse me if I'm like really tired today, and she's like, oh yeah, sure. And I'm literally just like, oh my god. Anyway, um, <laughs> and then the second week I went over to my dad's, but the antibiotics I couldn't take alcohol with. Oh no, at first, the first set I could take alcohol with, with, the second set I couldn't, or something like that. I know, I know one, I've been on that so many different types of medication lately, I know one of them I couldn't have alcohol with. One I could, but it made, like, the alcohol, like, really potent, is that what it is? Anyway, instead of like drinking like six cans of beer and being oh, then you'd be drinking like two and getting the same effect sort of thing. Um, and my sleeping tablets you have to take for two weeks, I think, like continuously to make sure like they get into your system and everything. And then I've got like the two inhalers, one which I have to take every night before I go to bed which has got also got steroids in it or something. It's a brown one if any of you out there actually have asthma and know what I'm on about. And then the blue one I take like during the day anyway because it's summer. So all the kids are out and my cat's frightened of like people running about, especially if they're noisy and kids have a habit of being brats in my neighborhood. So if they see a cat they'll chase it and want to attack it because they're all brutes. Um 
But so she stays indoors and she's become very sort of, oh, you're inside, human. I'm inside. I'm going to sit on you. And she'll sit there. And I'm just like, <gasps> can't, can't breathe, cat. And so I'll pick her up and move her and like, got to just go get my inhaler. And she's like, no, I was sat on you, human. You don't go moving. Do you understand what I'm saying? Anyway, but like, so that's been set off even worse. And so I've been using that a lot more, and I'm just like, oh my god, I can't wait for all this to be over. Um, but I've been inside the house, obviously, a lot. And I've been getting, sorry, mine went completely blank there about my trail of thought. The reason why I'm, like, doing this, and it's only, like, going to be slightly edited, is because I've, wanting, I've been wanting to do it, but as I said, I haven't been able to, like do anything interesting so I thought I'll do a catch-up thing and then I'll get back into the habit of you know doing everything else and I've been inside the house I need to get this point out <laughs> and I've been catching up on old hobbies that I used to do all the time and then I never do anymore such as drawing I've been I put myself up for a challenge um, where I'm, I need to do one drawing a day and I decided to do Pokemon and it's not up here Give me a minute, I'll go get it. I've got them now. Total professional. Um, so basically, while searching through the house for something to do, or just basically cleaning up, um, I came across tons of maths book and maths paper, which are the ones with the like lines across them. Forgive my like handwriting and doodles. This was from like four years ago. But as you can see, it's got like tons of them. I was like, I can use this. So I've been doing pixel pictures. That's a tongue twister. I tried to say it before and I was like, <laughs> Uh, so I've been doing like Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and while I get this next one up, I'm doing myself like one picture a day challenge, as I said, um, and so I'm on day five at the moment, uh, I'm just basically with these old books, like there's tons of stuff in them, so I've just been searching for like empty pages, there's, uh, Charmander, and that up there is the start of a Charmeleon, because I'm on day five today, and uh, I haven't really been keeping up with it. <laughs> but another thing that happened uh, during the three weeks was my own birthday. And, uh, well, I, I got a few new stuff, such as this. I bought this myself, and I'm just, I'm so happy with it, because... I'm not a jewellery person. Anybody you ask say, oh, well, she's not a jewellery person. I don't wear necklaces or earrings or bracelets or anklets or anything. But I just thought to myself one day, like, I've never had myself a ring. In fact, the thought came to me when I was watching Black Butler and CL was like, oh, I've got this big ring on my thumb. And I was like, I don't like thumb rings. And then I was like, how would I know? I've never tried one. So I went out and I was like searching and I was like, I need to get myself a nice ring. But I wanted something big. Because I think if it's small, I'll lose it. <laughs> and so, I like, it's basically, it wasn't expensive at all, but I thought it was really pretty. And it wasn't, like, too girly, because it was still, like, slightly gothic, I suppose. And those wings also go with this t-shirt. Now, this light is absolutely terrible for showing it off. So I'm going to do a cut here, get some nicer light, and then you can see the t-shirt, which my nan got me for my birthday. Okay, so this is the front. And I was like, oh my god, that's gorgeous, because I love this sort of stuff. But there's also another design on the back, which I also thought was really cool, considering most t-shirts you get is like the same design on the front and the back. Anyway, I'm going to go sit back down now. Sorry, I'm looking back on this, like, vlog, and I see that I'm, like, super hyper. As I said, I'm just, I'm really happy to be in, like, a good enough position with myself, like, feeling better, um, to do it. So that's why I'm sort of excited to, like, do vlogs again. Sorry, I'm not making much sense. Another thing, like, still on the medication, so... So, forgive me if I'm not all together here. <laughs> um, also, trying to fit three weeks into like a regularly... Regularly? That's not the word I'm after at all. Similarly? A sh uh, like a something... I can't think of the word I'm after at all. But um, like a short video. So that's why I'm sort of talking fast, aside from the fact that I'm also really excited. Anyway, getting back to my birthday. Anyone who knows me will know that I am a huge Jurassic Park fan. Especially when, like, Jurassic World came out. I saw it not just once, but, like, twice. Um, 
I saw it with my mum and she because she was like, Oh, Jurassic World. I didn't even like the Jurassic Park. And I was like, sacrilege. But um <laughs> uh <laughs> sorry. Um but anyway, she went to see it and she was like, Oh, I quite enjoyed it quite enjoyed that and I was like, You best had it's a Jurassic World. Yes, yes. And anyway, my dad rang up a couple weeks later and he was like, Oh, uh, have you seen Jurassic World yet? Because me and Karen, my stepmom, are going to go see it today. And I was like, I haven't seen it. No, of course not. Take me to see it. Yes. <laughs> and um, so for my birthday, I also got given the Jurassic Park trilogy and the Lego Jurassic World game. Now, on my PS3, the only real games I've like 100%ed and got all the trophies are... The Lego Hobbit and Lego Marvel Super Heroes, because the other ones are sort of... I mean, I've, I've like, do 100% story-wise on, like, Little Big Planet and Little Big Planet 2, and the only one I haven't got in Tokyo Jungle is one where you need to do every single mission, and I'm just like, how am I supposed to do this? You need me over there on what, what, like, on way on one side of the map on one mission, and then way on the other side for the other. And all this time I need to be marking territory, and also killing this amount of things, and get, f trying to find this many things which you haven't given me. I'm just like, ugh. So, I'm fine with not having that. 100 percent did Noby Noby Boy, though. I absolutely love that game. It's great for chilling out. Sorry. Focus. Focus. So, Lego Jurassic World. I managed to put in quite a bit of time this far. Let's say I managed to put in 20 hours in the first two days. <laughs> um, and as I was playing, I noticed a few things that, like, like should that be happening? And, like, again, I was, like, still on the medication, so I'm, like, not, like, if I saw it now, I'd have been like, oh, that's pretty cool, or that's pretty funny. But at the time, I was like, <laughs> look at this! And so I filmed them like a complete idiot. Um, but, uh, I'm gonna put them at the end of this anyway, because, you know, well, I still think it's slightly funny. You might as well. Um, and if any of you have got the game, you can try it out on yours, see if it's just mine. Um, anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave it with that. Um, I will be doing more vlogs, um, lately. Or in the future, whatever. Hopefully I'm gonna be better than this. I'm just all over the place at the moment. <laughs> um, but... I will be more focused in the future, and I'm so happy to be back. Um, and yeah, enjoy, and have a nice day. I'm getting better at finding glitches. Watch John Hammond and Alan Grant. They just sort of slide back and forth. I'll try and turn it so that the Get in the car, nerds! We're doing science! Okay, so it may just be a problem with the gate itself. Come on! Whoa! <laughs> Found another one. Just look at the wing. It's like completely bent out of shape. The wings twitch out over here. Oh, completely lost con camera control. But he's got his wings straight up. the corner. <laughs>